Hello everyone and welcome to a Velveteen Web Design Group video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to build a website locally on your machine, uh, on your computer, and then how to migrate or transfer that website um, to a live web server. So, uh, so we'll get started. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is download uh, a program called MAMP and this allows you to build websites locally on your computer. So we'll just go to our web browser and type in mamp.info, so M-A-M-P dot info. And then uh, right over here it says free, so you just click download, and then download again, and it'll download it to your computer. Then you just uh, run through the installation, um, just double click and run through the installation. And after you're done, uh, if you're on a Mac, you, sh you should just be able to go to your applications and just pick uh, MAMP. It's it's like a little yellow elephant, and it's just called uh, MAMP. Not a yellow elephant. It's um, it's an icon with an elephant in it. Okay. So basically, what I'm gonna do now is just open MAMP. I've already installed it, so I'll click on uh, MAMP here. And when you first get started, <coughs> what I recommend. Uh, you to do is to set a folder for where you want your websites to go. Um, if you go to preferences and you go here to web server, you can pick a folder where you want to um, where you want your websites to go or where you want MAMP to find your websites. Um, as you can see here, I've I've pointed it to a folder on my desktop called sites, and inside of sites, I've made a WordPress folder. So any any folder inside of WordPress is where my local host um, is going to look for. So I'll just give you a quick example of that. So I'll go to um, here we go sites, and then I have this WordPress site here, WordPress folder here, and inside I have all these other folders. Folders. These are actually local sites that I've built on my computer. Um, you know they have different names and some of them are experiments some of them are actual s websites that I've built um, that I and that I've transferred over to uh, a live web server I think some of these are I'm not quite sure but they could be just experiments but either way um, yeah this is the folder this is my you could call this my uh, local host folder and I'll show you kind of what I mean by that so when you install MAMP oops uh, when you install MAMP, this is kind of the little dialog box, and if you click on here, uh, Start Servers, this kind of imitates a live server that would be like, you know, in these big buildings uh, with tons of, um, yeah, with tons of uh, hard disk space, but it just turns your hard drive into a, a server for a moment so that you can build um, a website on your machine. Okay, so basically this is what the kind of home page of MAMP looks like. Um, and if you look up here, the the URL is localhost 8888 uh, slash MAMP and then linguish, uh, linguish, language equals English. Um, okay, so if I delete this and I just hit enter, um, I go to a website that I was that I was building before. But if I do something like um, let me look at one of the folders that I've built. Um, yeah, let me do like if I do see this folder here called Wisconsin. If I do uh, localhost uh, colon eight 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 eight, and then I type in Wisconsin, it's going to go to that folder, and it's going to show me the website in that folder, which is my uh, computer repair website that I've been working on. All right, so, and then if we go to the Wisconsin folder we see all the WordPress, uh, it's actually a WordPress site, and here are all the WordPress files. All right, so I'm just gonna go real quickly through building a website or through uh, installing a WordPress website on MAMP. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is create a folder, and I'm just gonna call this test-site. All right, and actually to make it easier, we won't put a dash, we'll just say test site with no dash. All right, and then we wanna go to uh, google.com we can say WordPress uh, download and then right here is this first link WordPress download and then download WordPress 4.1 okay it's just gonna take a moment to download 
we download WordPress. Uh, we have the zip file here. So I'm just going to take the zip file, put it into my test site folder, and double click it. There we go. And basically, I'm going to change the view of my folder here to, to this. That way, I have access to the files. Um, so if we look here, I'm in my WordPress folder. I'm in the test site folder that I've created. And then I've put in the zip file, the WordPress zip file, and I've extracted it. So now I have the WordPress folder with all its files. And what I want to actually do here is select all of these files and just drag them over to the left so that it's in the test site folder and not the WordPress folder. See, so, so now the WordPress folder is empty and I can actually just delete it and I can delete the zip file as well. So I just have the WordPress files in my test site folder. Um, and yeah, if that got a bit confusing, just you know, maybe backtrack or just ask me a question in the comments. Um, I changed my folder views on my Mac through doing this. Uh, right up here, these icons. Um, on a on a PC, you could just uh, Control X to cut and paste into um, a different folder. Um, and actually, is, I'm not sure if MAMP is um, for Windows either. But uh, right now, I'm working on a Mac. If if you have a Windows, uh, it'll be a similar process. Okay, so now I have the WordPress files in my test site folder. And what I'm going to do now, uh, this is a very important step. Before you do anything, uh, after you've uh, pasted in your WordPress files, um, what you need to do is create a database. Uh, now, for those who are not familiar with a database, basically WordPress works off databases and uses a database to store all your information of your website. Um, so databases are very important when it comes to WordPress. Um, and before you install WordPress, you need a database. So to create a database, um, you just go where it says here, my SQL, and then it says my SQL can be administered, administered with PHP admin. All right, and you wanna click on PHP admin. If you don't have access to this page anymore, um, I'll just close it here. Uh, what you do is you go to MAMP right down here, and you just click on open web start page, and then it'll open this page again. All right, so we want to click on PHP my admin. So we click there. And basically over here are all my databases. You can see um, if we look at some of these folders, you'll notice that some of these database names are similar to the folder names here. All right, so I want to create a totally new database. So to do that, um, click you click on databases right over here. Uh, you don't really have to worry too much about any of this, and it's actually better if, if you don't know what you're doing with any of this, I wouldn't recommend touching it. But just click databases right over here. And you can see all your databases show up here as well, and they're here on the left, and they show up here. And right over here, it says create database right there. And all we have to do is create is put in a database name. Um, I'd recommend keeping it you know, under 10 characters just so... You know, for me, I, I just think of ha databases having a short name and not nothing, you know, very long. So, like, I can name it the same thing as the folder. So, I can name it uh, test uh, site. And that's the that'll be the name of my database. So, I'm going to call my database test site the same as my folder here, uh, test site. And I'm going to click on create. So, now if we look at our databases, we can see test site is in here. And it's in here as well. So, if I click here or here, I'll click it here, uh, test site, we can see that uh, we have a database, there's no tables in it, I mean if I were to click on another database like this, we can see some tables here um, that are in the database, uh, but test site currently has no no tables because we haven't you know, created anything with this database, it's just a blank uh, database that we can access. Okay, so that's our database, um, if you have any questions with that, let me know in the comment section. Uh, but basically, we just created a database called test site, and there it is. So um, now, what we want to do, and actually, okay, yeah, you can click on new, and that'll take you to databases here as well. All right, so yeah, databases create the, create the database name. You know, write the name, create, and you'll have a new database, and it'll show up here on the left as well, and in the database section. All right, so now I'm going to close uh, this, and we're back here to our home page. 
and basically what I want to do now is uh, delete everything after localhost 8888 so right there so I just have localhost colon 8888 and what I want to do is type in test site so I want my localhost to access this test site uh, folder because in it is the WordPress installation uh, or all my WordPress files so when I type in the you know localhost 88 you know colon 8888 slash test site it's gonna open up my WordPress installation so I hit enter and because we haven't installed WordPress yet we have our installation so I hit continue and uh, all I have to do you know it says welcome to WordPress uh, before getting started we need information on the database which is what we created you will need to know the following items before proceeding database name database username database password database host and table pre prefix all right so we'll click let, let's go so the database name is test site because that's what we just created uh, a database called test site now for MAMP um, the the ad the username is root and the password is root uh, so MAMP that's across the board. I think you can change that, but when you first install MAMP, it's just root root, and the database host is localhost. And you can leave the table prefix. You can change this if you want. Um, it's up to you. Um, totally up to you. So we have our table prefix here, um, and it's WP. This is not you know. Here it says if you want to run multiple WordPress installations in a single database, change this. Okay, so. Uh, I'm not gonna get too much into this. Maybe you know if you want to learn more about this just maybe do a Google search But it's not super important at the moment. Just WP will work if we just are installing one web uh, one WordPress installation on us on uh, the database that, uh, that we created the um, Test site date database. So yeah WP is fine for that if you have questions on that again uh, ask me in the comment section All right, so that's all the information we need uh, to install a WordPress site on our local host so I'm gonna click submit and it says alright Sparky you've made it through this part of the installation WordPress can now communicate with your database if you are ready time now to run the install so click run the install and here's where you give your site a name I'm just gonna call this test site username I'm just gonna give it admin and I'll type in a password and a password and an email all right, and then you can allow search engines to index the site. That's fine. This is all fine. I mean, nothing really is gonna. Google's not gonna index your site on your local machine yet. But once you transfer it to a live server, this all this information will already be in there. Uh, so you won't need to really worry about it unless you want to change it. All right, so that's all set. And now we click on install WordPress, and we log in. All right, so if you noticed, I mean, I'll see if I can go back. Yeah, it says WordPress has been installed. Were you expecting more steps? Sorry to disappoint. You know, it says success. Username, admin, password, your chosen password. So we click login, and then we type in the, the username we selected and then the password. Okay, and now here is our WordPress backend installation. Uh, a few things I recommend when Actually, no, I'll, I'll show you this when we put it onto the live server. Um, so here's our backend, and I'm not going to go into all the WordPress backend stuff. Um, all I'm showing you is how to build a WordPress uh, site uh, locally and how to transfer it to a live server. So I'm gonna, just going to, you know, this is this part is, you know, I'm, um, I'm, I'm saying that uh, uh, I might have to edit that part, but basically... <laughs> What I'm saying is that you'll have to know WordPress. I'm, I'm not gonna, in this video, I'm not gonna get into how to use WordPress. All right, so now we have WordPress installed and we can actually look at the front end of this website if we type in localhost, um, you know, colon, localhost, colon, 8888 slash test site. And this is the front end of our test site. All right, and if we wanna access the back end, we do that, localhost, colon 8888 slash test site and then we do slash WP admin all right because I'm already logged in um, it takes me to the dashboard to the back end but if I were to log out and I do localhost colon 8888 slash test site slash WP admin uh, it's gonna ask me to sign in again all right so it's basically like having a server 
you know on your machine and what's great about building a site locally first let's say you have a big website that you want to build uh, having you know having it on your computer allows you to build it very quickly because you're not dealing with um, loading of a server so you know you click here it loads super fast you know uh, granted you know that you have a, a fast computer um, but nowadays most computers are fairly quick um, so you can just build your website really quickly and then just transfer it after you're done Okay, so we've got our site. Let's say we've built our website. You know, we'll check out the front end. We're happy with it, and now we want to um, to 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 bring it to a, a live server. Okay, I'm gonna cut that part and.